Welcome to the Art Project. Thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe. Please hit like if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment for me down below. All right. Um, hi. I am the guy behind the Art Project. Um, I did a video yesterday of this guy. And uh, my students saw it. Uh, by the way, this is my classroom. And anyway, so this guy, uh, one of my students saw the picture that I did and asked me uh, what kind of ink that I used. And so I thought, hey, this is a good opportunity to kind of have a teachable moment. So I'm going to show you. Uh, some of the different stuff that I use when I'm doing a pen and ink or ink drawing or ink painting and how I go about doing it. Um, speedball is the stuff that I use for class. You see I've got like a big class size bottle that I can put in little cups like this to share with my students. Uh, put, I usually put a cup on each table that they can work from. Some pens with nibs, drawing pens and I also use brushes with them from time to time. So I'm just gonna kind of show you how I do this. Uh, for starters, this is straight speedball ink, black ink, and I put it in this little container if my kids need to take it home or if I need to take some home or something like that to do some homework. This is pure. This one has been watered down a little bit and I'm not real precise about how I water it down. I just water it down and test it out and see if I like it. And then this is a cup of water that has some black ink in it so it's extremely watered down. So I've basically got um, light to medium uh, gray, uh, dark gray, and black that I work from. I have copy paper, just like regular copy paper. I have some drawing paper, just a scrap piece of drawing paper. And I've even got my sketchbook here that I'm gonna do some, and I've got a paper towel here um, in the background just in case I mess up, or in just case I need to make clean up a spill real quick. So again, like I said, in this little container, I have some solid black, regular black uh, ink. Speedball. Um, all right, now I've got a drawing nib. There's nothing really special about this. You get these little pen holders and nib holders and you get these um, nibs. Uh, the nibs come separately. You can get like a hundred in a box if you want to. And then um, when they clog up or get messed up, you can just put it into the pen like that. And uh, you can wash them out with water, but of course students are not really good at doing that. So I'll just dip it in the pen. Uh, I like to explain to kids what that little hole right there is for. That hole is to retain ink. So I dip it in there and basically what it does is water tension holds it in that little hole and then there's a little slit that goes down to the bottom. And by doing that, you can get a long, you know, you can, you can draw for a couple minutes with just one pen full of ink. I don't know if you can see this in the camera, but these lines are bleeding like really, ble really bad. I don't have that happen a lot, but this copy paper is cheap and so it's just <clears throat> bleeding a lot. Now that's with the pen on copy paper. Um, also show you here what it does on drawing paper. I'll see how long it'll go before I have to, oh, there it is. So you see how much drawing I got done with just one dip of the pen. Uh, I'm gonna show you this up close. This is bleeding a whole lot less. I mean, like really not bleeding much at all. So the kind of paper that you do this on makes a big difference. Let me show you these two side by side. You see how much the copy paper bleeds compared to how much the drawing paper does not bleed really. And then I'll try it on this page of my sketchbook.
I love doing this with the kids because uh, they love using the pens and the ink. They just think it's the greatest thing ever. Uh, a lot of times they ask me where the feather is. <laughs> um, these don't come with feathers. The downside of this is it does smear. You have to give it some time to dry. This is not uh, like gel pen or ballpoint pen where it dries real fast. This is old school, but again, they still like using it. Now I've got a clean brush here that I'm going to use, and I'm going to get just some of this slightly watered down ink, and I'm going to drag it. You can see how that's gray and not really black. On drawing paper, it actually appears a little bit blacker on the drawing paper than it does on the copy paper. And that might just be stirred up more. Let me see. I think it got stirred a little bit when I did that. There's a lot more ink in there than, but like I said, it's, it's not pure and you can always add more water to it if you want to. I'm going to take another clean brush and I'm going to dip it in this, um, that I have kind of watered down. I'm going to show you that there's a whole lot more water in this one. Also, the more water that you have in it, the more it wants to just soak into the paper. It soaks in faster that way. Uh, that's not necessarily good or bad, it's just the way it is. And then another thing that I like to do, that I love the effect of, is I love to um, put water down first <clears throat> and then let it, let it run. I'm going to grab some almost clean water. It's almost clean. And I'm just going to kind of pull it up. And then I'm going to drop some water, some, I'm sorry, some ink into it and watch it spread. Kids love to watch it spread too. Yeah. And when it dries, you can lift it up and make it move on your own if you want to. But when it dries, it has a beautiful look to it. A little more texture, a little bit more, that sort of thing. And you can do this in your uh, sketchbook as well. I'm going to grab a big brush. I'm going to get crazy in my sketchbook here for just a minute. Some, a lot of water. This is where it's good to have paper towel on hand so you can kind of soak up any excess that you don't want. And then I'm going to take a brush. This brush has got a little water in it, dry it off. And I'm going to put some straight ink in here and just let it flow. See what it does? Really cool stuff. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful and informative. Uh, if you liked it, please hit the subscribe button. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. If you got any questions or comments or suggestions or challenges for me, please leave them in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.